Hi, I'm Ben Orford, and we're going to show you how to use a fire steel to light a fire. So before you get your fire going, make sure that you've got permission to do so, and then clear the ground. You want to be back to bare earth before you start. So once we've cleared of the ground, we're going to lay some dry dead wood onto the soil to prevent our tinder getting too damp and also to keep it a little bit insulated. So the first thing that you're going to need to gather is lots of dry, fine material, either dried grass, dried seed heads, birch bark, any dry material that you can find in your pocket or your coat. This is going to be what we're going to drop our initial sparks onto and that's going to be our initial tinder. Once we've got that ignited, we're going to then need to feed on lots of very fine dry sticks. The smaller the better and lots of them. And when you're gathering these, make sure that you don't just pick them off the ground, but you actually snap them off, off the trees so that they're still dry in, inside, they're not damp at all. So we're going to use our fire steel and the back of our knife to produce a shower of sparks. But where people go wrong is they tend to try and make a long strike with their knife, producing lots of sparks but not intensifying the heat. So what I'm going to show you how to do is get closer into your tinder bundle, scrape off some of the fire steel and then produce some sparks and those actual shavings will catch fire themselves and burn very hot, in, incredibly hot in fact. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down here with our knife just very gently scraping off a few of those shavings to start with and then they ignite. The first few will dry the tinder and then they'll catch. Give it a bit of air, tilt your tinder onto the flaming parts and then it's away. Once it's caught, we can then get on some of our fine material. So once you've got your fire established, remember to always put your knife safely back in its sheath and stow your fire steel so you know where it is for the next time you need it. But even on a damp day, using that method to get your tinder first ignited, you got a fire going. So I hope that helps and enjoy your trip in the woods.